Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a Cloudmersive file processing connector that automatically converts binary or file data to Base64 encoded text strings. Making a conversion like this ensures your binary file data can be processed by other systems and it offers some other advantages as well. Let's dive right in. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Give your flow an appropriate name and then select Manually Trigger a Flow and click Create at the bottom of the window to move on to the Flow Design page. From here, let's click New Step and add our first action. Type Get File Content into the search bar and select the action you'll need to get your file. Mine is in the SharePoint ecosystem, so I'm using that option and directly after I'm selecting my site address from the dropdown. Below that, we can use the File Picker icon to navigate to and select the actual file. When you're ready, let's include the Cloudmersive connector for this operation. Click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Below, select the Cloudmersive connector with the purple logo from the list of options you see. Once you do, you'll be able to search the associated actions list to find the Base64 encoder. Just type Base64 and select the option I picked here. If it's your first time using this connector, you'll see a window come up to include your Cloudmersive API key and name your connection. If you don't have a key, you can get one easily by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. This key will provide a limit of 800 API calls per month, and once you enter it in here, it'll save for your future uses. Now, let's define the only action parameter here. All we need to do is click on the parameter bar and select the file content option from the dynamic content window. This will pull the contents from the file we included and automatically perform the base64 encoding operation. Last but not least, let's wrap up our flow with a create file operation. Click new step and type create file into the operation search bar. I'm using the SharePoint option again, so I'm selecting that action and defining my site address once more. Below that, we have to define the folder path, content, and name for the new file. Like before, you can use the file picker to navigate to the correct folder and select it. Below that, give your file a name and make sure to use the txt suffix to ensure it gets saved as a text file. At the bottom, simply click on the file content bar to pull up the dynamic content window. In that window, you'll see the option to include the output content from the encoding operation. After that, you're all set and you can begin to save and test your flow. To save your flow, click Save at the bottom of the page, then click Test in the upper right corner of the page. Select the option to trigger manually and then click Test at the bottom followed by Continue and Run Flow. Once the flow runs successfully, you'll see green check marks appear on each operation in the flow to indicate that they worked as intended. After that, check your destination folder to ensure the file is there and contains the encoded contents. As you can see, I now have a pile of Base64 code associated with my selected file. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.